A local store clerk who pulled a gun on a would-be robber and then lost his job says he'd do it again. The now former plaid pantry worker suddenly confronted in the middle of the night last week by a man wielding a hatchet and it was all caught on camera. Our Lisa Balick talked with that former clerk and joins us live from where this all happened in southeast Portland. Lisa? Yeah, it was at this uh, plaid pantry where Chris Follis was working. It was about 1 o'clock in the morning. This store just off McLaughlin Boulevard here in Oak Grove. He said about 1 in the morning, a masked man walked in. Take a look. You can see the video as this all unfolded. Chris Follis said he heard the door open. He said hello, then saw the man wearing a ski mask and a hoodie who headed directly towards him at the counter. At that point, the would-be robber pulled a hatchet out of his pants. Follis, who has a concealed handgun license, then pulled his gun out, although plaid pantry has has a no weapons policy. And then he pulled his hatchet as he approached more of the front counter and I drew my gun within like a moment of seeing it. Uh, I'm pretty sure what from what I can remember is I said, really, I'm calling the cops. And he says while he was on the phone with 911, the robber said, I'm sorry, I'll leave, and then suddenly took off running. Now, even though Fallis had, a, again, a concealed gun license and never pointed the gun at the robber, he was fired. Now, in a statement, Plaid Pantry says it adheres to proven industry best practices, including the policy of no weapons in the store. The company makes significant investments in security equipment and training and robbery deterrence and violence prevention. All employees are trained in these procedures and received ongoing going refresher training. Now, Fala says he knew right away he'd lose his job, but he still thinks it was a good idea producing his gun, pointing it at the floor, saying he was defending himself. Now, he is applying for new jobs. In fact, even today, he was out on a job interview. As for that robber who made off with, who had the hatchet, who left the hatchet behind, as you saw, he is still at large. Police say, if you know anything, please get them a call. Back to you.